Did you know? Social Security income is taxable. It's a common misconception that those monthly benefits are tax-free, but in reality, they can be subject to federal income tax depending on your total income. Here's the deal. If Social Security is your only source of income, it's likely not taxable. But if you have other substantial income, like wages, self-employment, or investment income, a portion of your Social Security benefits could be subject to tax. So, how are these taxes calculated? Here's the scoop. The IRS uses a formula called provisional income to determine the taxable portion of your Social Security benefits. This includes your adjusted gross income, AGI, non-taxable interest, and half of your Social Security benefits. Depending on your filing status and provisional income, up to 85% of your Social Security benefits could be subject to tax. According to the IRS, the best way to see if you'll owe taxes on your Social Security income is to take one half of your Social Security benefits and add that amount to all your other income, which includes tax-exempt interest. This number is known as your combined income. Here's how it's calculated. Combined income will adjusted gross income, AGI, non-taxable interest, plus one half of Social Security benefits. If your Social Security income is taxable, the amount you pay will depend on your total combined retirement income. However, you will never pay taxes on more than 85% of your Social Security income. But income brackets will vary depending on your filing status. For 2024, if you file an individual tax return with a total income under $25,000, you won't have to pay taxes on your Social Security benefits. Single filers with a combined income between $25,000 and $34,000 must pay income taxes up to 50% of their Social Security benefits. And, and if your combined income is more than $34,000, you will pay taxes up to 85% of your Social Security benefits. For married couples filing a joint return, you will pay taxes up to 50% of your Social Security income for a combined income between $32,000 and $44,000. If you have a combined income of more than $44,000, you can expect to pay taxes up to 85% of your Social Security payments. Understanding the tax implications of Social Security income is crucial for effective financial planning. It's always a good idea to consult with a professional to determine how your benefits might be taxed and what strategies you can use to minimize your tax burden.